let's say there are five students in your class one two three four and five these five students they have their own respective names and own respective words let's say the names of these students are ram sam drishti lokesh and siv and the weights of these students are 60 kg 72 kg 55 kg 80 kg and 70 kg what we have right here is a bunch of facts that don't necessarily make any sense and a fact is what we call a data so basically we have collected some data from our class so this is data collection after collecting the data we analyze this data analyze the data after analyzing the data we organize the given data and present it organize the data and present the data let's say you use a tabular form to present the given data where one row contains names and the other row contains their respective body weights so the names are ram syam drishti lokes and finally siv and their respective weights are 60 kg 72 kg 55 kg 70 kg and 80 kg and all of this is present inside a table okay so after organizing and presenting the data we can interpret few things from it and this is what we call interpretation interpretation what are the things that we can interpret number one out of all the students drishti is the lightest similarly out of all the students siv is the heaviest if you compare the weight of sam and lokes sam is heavier than lokes these interpretations they make some sense as compared to the initial data that we had collected right here. They don't necessarily make any sense. So these interpretation that actually make sense are what we call information. So if you look carefully, you can see that throughout this process, what we have done is that we have converted some data into meaningful information so there's your data and this data has been converted into a meaningful information however the data had to travel through some steps and these steps were number one you had to collect the data so you collected the names and weights of the students then you had to analyze the data you analyze the names and weights of those students then you had to organize the data and then present it. So you kept together the names and weights and used a table to present it. And finally, you were able to interpret meaningful information from the given data. All these steps through which data is converted into information is studied under a topic by its own. And this topic is what we call stack this text if this study of data is used in medical field or under any field under biology then we call it biostatistics and this right here is the very first lecture of biostatistics where you have gained the basic introduction to the topic